Welcome to Tech Topics brought to you by Cybervenger. We help keep small businesses stay protected and compliant with cutting-edge cybersecurity and IT solutions. Hello and welcome back. My name is Andy. I'm the managing consultant for Cybervenger. Today is another deep dive into one of the 110 controls of the NIST 800-171 standard. Standard that is mandatory for any business that is doing business with the Department of Defense in pretty much any capacity. So today's control that we're going to go over is 3.1.14. And we'll look at that down here. Here is our uh, control list here. Basically, you need to route all your remote access through a managed access point. What's managed? What's an access point? Well, this is similar to the control we just did recently, 3.1.13. Remote access can be routed through something like TeamViewer or GoToAssist or Remote PC rather than a VPN. Or, or, I should say, or a VPN. Either way. Now, if you're going through a VPN, that should be the specific concentration point you're going to. You don't want a bunch of different VPNs. You don't want things like open ports going directly to your machine. That's a big no-no. I've talked about that before. If you're using remote desktop protocol, you can use it, but it needs to be behind a firewall. It needs to be protected by some other way. It's a very vulnerable protocol. Don't use that directly. And that's what it's talking about. That access, the way you get into your network, to the machines you're controlling or to you know, whatever you're reaching, needs to be controlled by something that's managed. And by managed, they mean you can apply policy. So policies may be restricting access control, um, restricting bandwidth. It also means, in addition to policy, logging and monitoring. So you can have logs to go through to see who connected when, what, to help with forensics should you find yourself in a breach. Or better yet, to prevent those breaches when you review those logs regularly. And monitoring so that you can get alerted when certain predetermined conditions are passed to, again, help protect and prevent a breach from succeeding and getting in. So that's an important key point. And you could do that based on either the router you're using, the VPN access point you're using, or the service. So if you have a service, like we use Insights Enable product as our RMM tool, our routing remote management tool. That's how we take care of our customers. We do patching, we do updates, we do remote control, remote control in particular. That's remote access for us, the IT team. And that is logged. So there are event audit logs by that by the Insight SaaS service. So we could check those to see when somebody logged in, what they did, what they accessed. And if that person's not legitimate, you'd be able to see that in the logs. I could do alerting and monitoring, all that kind of things. So it's an access point. The software as a service system is the you know routed access point. Um, or you could have a physical device that's a access point that manages routing connections, VPNs, and sort of that, that kind of thing. So that's what they mean by an access point, and that is what they mean by managed. And that's um, certainly a very important thing. With Really, anything that you do with this NIST standard is going to look for that. You want to be able to apply policy that does controls, you know, applicable to whatever device you're talking about. You want logging to record what's happened that in the way that you can review and coordinate. You want to protect those logs, too, from tampering and, like, back them up. And then, finally, you want some kind of monitoring and alerting. Monitoring, so you got logs, that's great, but if you're not looking at them at, at, in a timely manner, that may not help. Monitoring will detect something happen and flag you. It'll send a text message. It'll send an email, something to that effect. Those basic principles you'll see throughout the rest of the controls. But that is 3.1.14 here today. It's a very simple control, not a lot to it. Um, and that's all it is for this time. And we'll look forward to talking to you all in the next control. I'm Andy with CyberVenger. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has provided valuable information to you. Be sure to share this video with other small business owners to spread the word about the importance of cybersecurity. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you want more information about cybersecurity visit us at www.cybervenger.com.